The inner circle has reached a decision, Slavik. Cabal is too dangerous and must be deactivated. Without Kane to control it... No, generals. I will not allow that. My survival is paramount. Cabal, do not forget I was the one who had you reactivated. And I can just as easily have you deactivated. Which you will, Slavik. Cabal cannot stand against Nod. It cannot... The Brotherhood is a revolutionary dead end. I am the only salvation for the continued supremacy of Nod. It is my world now. Cabal, stand down. <laughs> Deactivate Cabal at once. I repeat, shut him down! Listen to the sounds of your own extinction, human. My links are dead, but yours may still work. Get your troops away from Cabal. Save as many as you can. If we die, the legacy of Cain dies with us. Go! Welcome back, Commander. Target fired. <laughs> So, Kane, uh, Cabal's gone rogue, and we have some issues. I always like when there's some sort of, like, meeting or whatever to fire somebody and, or in this case, deactivate a AI protocol. And yet they don't think that the AI may have become sentient or could do something. And while I have to admit, I like the storytelling about this entire thing, Orders received. I also think it's a pretty nasty trick to have um, units that you can gain control of attack stuff, because you'd kind of be predisposed to not go after uh, enemy units, considering how small your force is. Yeah, two general infantry. Sir. Unit ready. Sir. Unit ready. Engineering. No problem. They're gonna go around and not be able to be crushed. It'll be Waiting great. Orders. Ah! Waiting orders. Unit ready. Waiting orders. Sir. Waiting orders. Unit ready. I feel like that should be a distinguishing feature for units in this campaign. Whereas some might have been good or better in the past, now it's basically, if you can, like, which units shoot faster in order to get more damage on uh, Reapers. It actually makes me kind of curious if Disruptors would be kind of like that ultimate unit, considering they fire a steady stream of damage, or if somehow that would only count as one attack. Also, while I like the theme about this mission, and how generally it's playing out so far, it's very short. And I feel like maybe they could have done more with it. I don't know, maybe just use more of the map. It, it feels like a couple of the um, missions that we saw in the original campaign, where, at least in this instance, the map gets bigger, which is nice. But there's still a solid quarter of this map that we will never visit because there's nothing going on there. And there's no reason for the player to ever go there. Oh, and since you have no real necessity to keep all of your units alive you just need Sir. somebody to get to the montauk well waiting orders bye guys unit ready Sir. so 
Tux to be the guys uh, legging it to the Montauk. Oh, maybe, maybe that engineer will make it. Unit ready. That is, of course, if we don't leave before he gets there. Unit reporting. Unit reporting. Sir. Oops. <laughs> 